Good morning everyone, it is official, I'm starting cycle three today and I'm back on vlogging. Hope you guys are all well. My ankle is feeling a little bit better, so really looking forward to hitting the gym later with Sarah. Not entirely sure what I'm having for breakfast, as I haven't had much time to look over cycle three as I'm in the middle of moving. So the next couple of weeks are gonna be quite stressful with trying to stick to this and doing the move, but hopefully it'll be okay and I'll smash cycle three and my results will be good. Hopefully after having these two weeks, it hasn't been affected too much. This evening, I'm going to have a proper look through the plan, but hopefully today I can kind of just wing it and just get on with it. Um, I think I'm just gonna do pick a mix this morning for breakfast, so, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted throughout the day and let you guys know what I'm up to. My cycle three is all printed and I'm really looking forward to having a good read through it today. I need to put it into a folder and section it all off to make it a bit easier to read so I'll also be doing that as well. And yeah, really looking forward to the pick and mix and set recipes. I've had a quick glance and they really look good. So hopefully I'll be enjoying the food and the exercise which looks really hardcore but smashing cycle three to get the results that I want. I finally sat down to look over the whole of cycle three and it's really overwhelming. There's so much to take in, but hopefully in a, about a week or so, it'll all be settled in. There's all the set recipes, the general recipes, post workout, and obviously you can't have carbs um, unless you've done your session. So while looking through all the notes, I'm having my daily snack of walnuts and I'll also be having some protein bites a bit later on. Heading to the gym with Sarah in a little bit, so I need to get ready for that. I decided what I'm having for dinner. I'm going to be having the sticky chicken with the potato and kale bake. So really looking forward to making that and I'll show you guys what I've made. I've been in such a rush today, but for lunch I had like some tunery kind of salad with spinach and greens and tomatoes and onions. And then for breakfast I had chicken sausages and vegetables and greens. So yeah, it's been hard to get back into the greens. I'm struggling to eat spinach and kale and green beans, but it's okay. Powering through, powering through. I'm all ready and it's time to go to the gym. So I'm just walking to my car and then I'm going to be meeting Sarah there very soon. I've just pulled up outside the gym for my first session of C3, so really looking forward to it. I know it's going to be hardcore, but I will show you guys what I get up to. Okay, we've got to the gym and we're just going to start to do our weights. We are just about to do our chest and back session and we have so many weights. So these are mine, and these are Sarah's, and we are ready to go. <laughs>
time again and we're ready to go. I'm home from the gym and I've just been to Tesco's to grab a few things for my dinner tonight and I'm just about to start it as I'm super hungry. Just in the middle of doing my potato and kale bake. So I've got the sliced potatoes and then I'm just adding the kale on top and there'll be a line of potatoes, kale, line of potatoes, kale. Just line the kale and potatoes and now I'm just about to add some water in and then pop it in the oven for 40 minutes. I've cut the chicken up and I'm just about to marinate it, put it on the baking tray and then pop it in the oven with the potato and kale bake and hopefully it'll be ready all together. Chicken's all marinated and I've just popped it in the oven along with the potato and kale bake which is coming along nicely. 